I have to show this. Look how tight of a turn this tractor does. <laughs> it legit turns on a dime. Look at that. So what that means, it is a little bit more simplified. We do not have our terminal sitting right here. We do not have that terminal coming out of the roof. And as we get out, I just want to focus on how big this tractor is. We have a full size buddy seat and lots of leg room for a smaller frame tractor. This thing sure is spacious and has a really nice cab. And for an okay frame of reference, right beside it we have a 714 bus. This is a sweet black bed tractor. Welcome back to another video. My name is Austin and I work at Full Line Ag, a farm equipment dealership located here in the beautiful province of Saskatchewan. And we're starting off today's video in the cab, finally, of the Wideman. Everyone was thinking I wasn't able to find the keys, which I wasn't, but look who finally found them now. <laughs> but we're starting the video off here in this sweet telescoping boom wheel loader. This is a brand new unit, a new line that we've taken on here at Full Line Ag. And this thing is beautiful. I can't tell you very much about running these things as I have had zero training on them so far, but we have some guys that went to training in Calgary and they'll hopefully be able to give me the crash course here sooner than later, but we have Lots of sweet little things in this unit. Yeah, I need to learn a little bit more about this thing. I don't know if it's pronounced vitamin or vitamin or what it is, but all I know is these things are sweet and they have a really, really good reputation. But now we're gonna go and look at the main reason, probably why you clicked on this video. We have just taken delivery of our first ever Fent 300 series. And here it is. This is a brand new Fent 314. And for an okay frame of reference, right beside it we have a 714. So we'll be able to see a little bit of the size comparison. Plus, this is a sweet black Fent tractor. A nice black beauty. But with these tractors sitting side by side, we can see this Fent tractor sits a little bit taller. We can see the front end loader is a little bit bigger as this is a 5X85 and that one's a 4X75. So just a little bit smaller of a Fent cargo front end loader on it. If we look at it from the front, it's kind of hard to tell because I think this one's sitting on a little more snow, but the 300 series is actually a little bit shorter than what that 700 series is. And I wish we had a 500 series to put in between the two, but sadly we don't. So this will have to do. We can see the differences here at the front end, the way that that front grill, the shroud where our lights are looks compared to the seven series, a little bit bigger, a little more beefier. But then if we come around to the side, our engine oil check right there, easy to get at. Just grab that fender, pull that fender aside and sneak your way right in there. This 314 has just over a 95 inch wheelbase on it. Has a 140 horsepower, four cylinder Agco power engine. It has a 29 gallon per minute flow hydraulics. And the look at the back, we can see 
just a little bit smaller. It almost looks like that cab's a little wider on the 7 Series as well. On the back, on this model, we have four hydraulics on it. We have our suspension on our cab. PTO, of course, three-point hitch. Fender controls, inner wheel weights. Our batteries are just nice and neatly tucked right under here. I don't want to open it up, but the batteries are under there. So in this cab, we'll quickly turn down our fan. We can see it looks a little bit different. This tractor, we brought it in not as a Profi Plus, not as a Profi like the Black Beauty that's right there. We actually brought it in as a power. So what that means, it is a little bit more simplified. We do not have our terminal sitting right here. We do not have that terminal coming out of the roof which we could see it come right there. This is actually our only terminal that we have in the track. It's not gonna overwhelm people as much as getting into a loaded up Profi Plus cab with our screens coming out of the roof and all that jazz. It's just a little workhorse. But if we look at the armrest, we can see everything looks more or less the exact same. You're gonna ask how I navigate this without having a touch screen because this screen here is not touch. It's actually just through this dial right here. So I can scroll this dial. I can hit buttons to open up different menus. I have a back arrow. Looking at this screen, if we want to see our hydraulic screen, we are going to press this button right here. We can see it opens up our navigation window and then we can scroll and there's that blue box. Once I come to what I want, I depress it and brings us right into our screen. As we keep scrolling, we can click on different objects within the screen and see different options as well as alter things like our flow. All with using this. And let's give a quick scan through of all of our options so we can see our tractor this is maybe what we'd have when we're just bombing around the yard or bombing down the field we have our hydraulics our engine and transmission easily able to adjust whatever we're looking for three-point hitch and pto this is our switcher where we can change all of our buttons and functions just like we can on the Profis and the Profi Pluses. We're gonna hit that button again. Brings up our navigation window. We can see our front axle suspension. We can see our front end loader functionality. We can see our fuel economy. We have our onboard computer and counter. Our settings, where we can go through and change everything that we need to. We can also see our climate controls, which we can also easily access right here by increasing the fan, adjusting our temperature, our light control, our diagnostics and service, our service and diagnostic screen, and we can see our work profiles. Very, very easy to navigate, very easy to click on whatever we want to click on. So with all that being gone through nice and quick, let's take it for a spin. We are going to take off our parking brake. We have already turned off our hydraulic lock. We're going to lift up that front end loader. beautiful curved window being able to see that bucket fully just from sitting 
right here. And now let's get moving. So we can see we're in foot pedal mode. We're gonna click it into our forward direction. Our arrow goes forward, step on our gas pedal, and we're moving. It looks actually very nice without any monitor here. Your visibility is so good. I like this thing. I have to show this. Look how tight of a turn this tractor does. <laughs> it legit turns on a dime. Look at that. I would laugh if someone pulled into the yard right now and saw me just <laughs> spinning in circles. We have our cruise controls, all the same functionality. We're gonna hit our C1's green. We're gonna bump it over to the right. And just like that, we can see right on the side, we're going at our cruise control speed. We can hit our C2, bring us to our second cruise control speed. Easily, if we want to change it, we're going to hit that button right there, go over to our engine transmission, then we scroll through till we select our second one, and we can click down and change it right on the fly like this. Or, since we do have the Fent 1 cab, nice and easily. We can just scroll on that wheel. Lift up our front end loader. I better start paying attention before I run into something. But this is just a nice, agile, nimble little tractor. Hit my reverse, my shuttle. Spin around nice and quick. And so that is the one thing that I just don't like as much about this power cab is not having that shuttle button right on our thumb on that nice joystick we got more of the s4 series cab joystick however we can see it almost looks like there's a light that's coming out through that top there but it's a lot nicer the s4 series you had your two buttons right here you kind of had to hold it like a claw this one you grab onto it and it's right at your pointer finger and right at your thumb so if you're lifting and lowering it is super nice. You just grab onto that ball easily. If you had a bucket and grapple, just easily with your pointer finger and your thumb. <laughs> it is so easy to drive these tractors. This is very, very simple to use. I was kind of a little intimidated at the start. I didn't know how easy it would be to function through that screen without it being touch screen and just all through our little panel here, through our little uh, scroll wheel, wheel or selector. It is actually very, very easy and very, very simple. But let's shut it down. Oh, handbrake's not on. Just like that. Turn off our battery disconnect. And as we get out, I just want to focus on how big this tractor is. We have a full size buddy seat and lots of leg room. For a smaller frame tractor, this thing sure is spacious and has a really nice cab.
But that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did, please leave a like and hit that subscribe button down below. We're gonna have to do a lot more videos on this Fent Tractor, on this new 300 series, because I really, really like it. But I'm freezing, <laughs> being outside for even a couple minutes. It's a little too cold for me. So thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.